It is the weekend. It's the last weekend before the big U.S. holiday season commences. You can see my uh, dessert here. These are pecan delights from the Dinner with Georgia O'Keeffe cookbook. They should be dusted with confectioner sugar. Uh, I thought I had some. I didn't. And so I just used cinnamon sugar because I had a bunch of that. I wanted to do something Mexico themed because today I am trying the Chamayo Chai from Artful Tea, based out of Santa Fe. Uh, I ordered their chai three pack, which comes with a masala chai classic, which I've already had, and it really hits all the notes. There's a rooibos chai that I'm excited for, because I love rooibos chai, but this Chamayo Chai, named after uh, Chamayo, New Mexico, where there is um, an incredible church uh, with a children's shrine and also um, dirt with healing properties. Um, we, John and I, stopped in there on our New Mexico road trip. Um, I guess that was 2018. Uh, that, it was an incredible experience for me. It was a beautiful place, so I was excited to try this chai. Um, this is black tea, chili peppers, which I'm excited for. Cardamom, cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon bark ginger root, clove, and then some more cinnamon flavor. It was very interesting because when I smelled it, like I got the package uh, in the evening and I wanted to save it for today so I had time to bake something to go with it. Um, but I just opened the bag, smelled it, and I thought I smelled chocolate, but there's no chocolate in it. So just look at, ooh, <laughs> look at all of these spices and herbs. There's just so much in here. I'm so excited. I know this is going to be delicious, especially with these herbs. Gorgeous, gorgeous cup. Mm. There's like a little, uh, maybe it's the pepper, I don't know, but there's like just a little bit of, kind of a redness to it, but it's a really nice golden dark honey. Um, when I smell it, I smell the chili sort of toward the back of my palate. I think the cinnamon and the clove coming on strong. Alright, so I'm tasting this straight no milk or sugar because you know, chai is traditionally taken with milk and sugar. Um, I want to just be able to experience the tea straight before I add anything to it. Uh, you can hear Astrid running around with Marvin, my neighbor dog, who just loves to go over and visit and try to calm me. Woo! Woo! That is pepper. I like it. So when I smelled it, I got the pepper at the back of my palate in here. And it's not overwhelming. It's not like I'm not breathing fire. It's not gonna hurt me later once I, you know, digest it. Um, but it is, the spice is very forward and then I experience the clove and the um, cinnamon uh, and the cardamom more towards the back of it. I love that. I think if, and if you are a milk and sugar person, this is definitely strong enough to stand up to that. I might do honey instead of sugar sugar. Oh yeah, that's, that's personal preference. Um, and I was gonna say, if you are a plant milk person, oat milk is my favorite plant milk, but honestly, I think you would need an almond oat milk. I just, I think an oat milk would do some like weird things. The flavor balance and oat milk would probably be Cookies are not my Nice. It's fine. It's a good thing to have a nice cup of tea with. I don't know how I got that dry. Uh, considering it is made with butter and milk. They use vegetable shortening in the book, and we don't have much in our house. We just have um, So the tea moistens the incredibly dry crumbs in my mouth. Um, but then again, cinnamon here, cinnamon there, so a little bit of sameness, but then the contrast of this is not sweet. This is spicy. This is sweet. So we've got spicy, sweet. They go together really well. Um, I should probably just stick to buying cookies or getting pre-made dough. Um, I can do other things, but cookies aren't it. Uh, have a good weekend. I hope you enjoy some good tea and snacks yourself.